I don't know if the lighting is bright, but I don't even understand the lighting of this of my setup. I don't know if it's right or it's just me that is just overthinking it. But I look, I don't know where I look actually. I don't know. <laughs> I like applied powder. I'm looking at the powder. The powder is nowhere blended or what. Should I just apply the powder? Because I just did it. Anyway, hi guys. Hi, my name is Lavika. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Please do also like the video. Do also subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to turn your notification bell on after subscribing. And yeah, let's get into it. So today, why I'm talking, I have my chips here. Cheeks. Cheeks. And I'm going to be taking this Sprite. Okay. So... Um okay. I'm blowing some hair out to myself. Yes. Basically what I'm going to be talking about is like I don't know if I've discussed this on my channel before. Like what type like of marriage do you like? Do you like um like a very loud extravagant marriage or you want a very quiet kind of marriage? Now, somebody like me. I want a very loud marriage. Like I'm a loud person. Like I want it out there. I want people to see what I am doing, what I'm up to, and everything. But at the same time, I realize that we don't really consider the spiritual implication of um loud and quiet marriage. Like some people, what I mean by that is that some people, if they do loud marriage, they are okay. They are good. They don't have any problem spiritually, physically. They don't have any aids towards them. Why some people, when they want to do marriage, they are advised to do a very low-key wedding, don't play music, just do the wedding, don't even pick clothes, like, you know, the way we, the way the Yoruba, normal Yoruba person will pick outfits for the day and everything. Let me tell you the reason why I'm talking about this, because my sister is getting married, mm -hmm. and we're told that she should do a very quiet wedding, that means there's no playing of music there's no picking of clothes you're only allowed to pick maybe color and everybody should decide on the color they want to wear maybe tell them to wear blue so there's no like maybe you're buying clothes you're buying like picking gilly picking um ashrapi and all that it's not there and you're not allowed to like play loud as i was music. saying so in our case they were actually told her not to like not to like um do a loud wedding so now she's somebody that wants a very loud wedding she's somebody that has gone to different weddings a friend's wedding but i should be clothes but i should be gilly prepare the mother ah during that time they're going to pick i should be clothes and all that and they're telling me not to make it loud i actually really really feel sorry for her because she didn't like the idea me also i don't like the idea but because we are told that she's not allowed to do that kind of stuff. She decided to go with what she's allowed to do. And you know, funny enough, is it's not about playing music and everything, but it's also about it because you know the ginger and the vibes about playing music. <laughs> it's a different ball game. Like it's a very different ball game. I can't lie to you. So if you were in a show, what would you have done? Would you have said us ignore what people, what the pastors or the men of God have said? And just move ahead with your wedding, your loud wedding that you have actually planned that you wanted to do, or would you just say, okay, let me just go for the quiet wedding and have a very good life? Because it's looking as if, oh, don't go for a loud wedding because you're going to put in yourself as this, this and this and this and that and that and blah blah blah. This is going to happen. This is not going to happen because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Me, <laughs> I'm, I've always been a very loud, loud person, like from my my young age days like from when i was a little girl i'm always the i'm always the party type i'm the hype i'm this i'm that i'll be buying a shabby you pronounce my them that should not do a loud wedding ah <laughs> me and god will talk about it to an Oreo kill on the mountain because hey <laughs> oh my plan because it was more of like all our plans to make it loud to make it like superb and everything and everything just from like from up to it just went down the drain like it wasn't funny at all but 
Anyway, what are your thoughts? Like, tell me your thoughts about it. Would you, would you as an individual still go ahead with your loud wedding, even when you pastors or when people are around the children that you should go for a quiet wedding? Or would you actually consider praying about your wedding day, praying about, okay, your plans to make your wedding, like praying about, um, 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 maybe pray about your wedding, your wedding plan, your wedding preparation. Would you, would you, would you go to your pastor's place to pray? So what if you are the kind of person that wants a loud wedding and the person that you want to do a loud wedding? Would you follow the pastor's advice or would you just still do what you want to do? Because there's some people that even when they should not do loud wedding or more, they're telling them to read their thoughts so they will still do their thing. And it doesn't mean that they will not have a very successful wedding. They will still have a successful wedding. More maybe somehow somehow they may have delays in some things, or maybe you know something, some things may happen later in the future. But we wouldn't even know that because we wouldn't even see these people because they don't pass and everybody has done their separate base. So, what do you think? Like, I really want you guys to share your opinion in the comment section. Would you still actually still do the white, the loud wedding, or just do your quiet wedding? I know there are some people that actually want a very quiet wedding. They don't even have time for a loud wedding. In my sister's case, she wanted a loud wedding, but now she has to do a quiet wedding. She's doing a quiet wedding because she does not want it to be loud. She's not doing a church marriage. She's just going to the court and doing engagement and that's it. Because there's no one who we are going to do a loud wedding in my daddy's church. And the whole of that community will know that something is happening there. Like, there will be too much crowd. And before you raise the game to turn to something that is very, very big and something that is very, very loud. Basically, that's just it. So, anyway, that's just the case. So, I'm going to be dropping, after this video, I'm going to be dropping bangers like so you guys have to just stay tuned i have a lot of bangers to drop for you guys so anyway i just wanted to ask this question loud wording yeah pastor say no you say yes which are you following are you following the pastor like the word of god you are following yourself so just drop your comment in the comment section and guys subscribe or uh, don't forget to subscribe please subscribe so if you subscribe you'll be getting the content i have in store for you or i have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of amazing content to drop this week and you can only see that if you're here if you've subscribed and you turn your notification bell on so please subscribe to your notification bell on and yeah basically that's it i'll see you in my next video i mean like this video is all messed up <laughs> it's all about the place but take it like that. I don't know. I just have to just quickly come here to drop this because I had this in mind. I have some videos to do. I'm just like, I need to really ask these questions. I want to allow it. And my pastor is saying I should not be allowed. It. Like, yo, who should I follow? Anyway, you say this is the spirit of God. You're a Christian, you're Muslim. You can pray by yourself as an individual and decide, okay? If God actually says, okay, go ahead, go ahead. If God says, no, go ahead, don't go ahead. Well, what is the situation whereby God say it to you? Go ahead. And God says to your pastor, don't go ahead. What would you do? What would you decide on? <laughs> I don't even know, right? Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. And yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Bye, guys. Bye.